Hey TD Superheroes, I'm Alejandro Perez, your sidekick, and in this video we're going to take a look at taking these blend shapes we've attached to the head and attaching them to be controlled by the attributes here. So there are a couple of changes on the script that I did in between lessons because I was working on this and I caught some issues. So I want to point them out. So on the face part, it used to be negative one, but in one of the previous videos, we added the blend so that we can clear the history easily. And then that made it negative two. So anything that's right and left is negative two instead of negative one. And then on the eyes, we switched them to one and kind of re-exported the eyes so that way they work this way because they have a look left, look right, and it was just a little bit easier to put it at the beginning for the eyes specifically. In this case with the naming convention I chose, or that I chose to work with. So that is something to note with the change of script in between lessons. But let's take a look at setting up the rest of the code. So with the blend shape, so we're creating the blend shape here. I'm going to create an attribute because we're going to need access to this in the script. So I'm going to create it as blend name. This creates it as a list. So let's make it a little bit easier on ourselves to say blend name is equal to blend name index level zero. Okay, so we have that. And then, oh, one more change that I did on the script is that I created a control name variable and assigned it to the select here because we're going to need access to the control name with this script. And like I said, we're going to also need the access to the blend shape name and then we're also going to need access to the object name. So those are the things that we're going to need. Let's start defining the function. So define attach blend to CTRL. And like I said, we're going to need the blend name. We're going to need the OBJ name and we're going to need the CTRL name. So all of those things right now we're going to need to make this script work. And for right now, just to make sure that it works, I'm going to put it pass. I'm going to copy this name here and we're going to run the code as we are importing the or as we are creating the attributes so after we create the attribute we want to attach the blend shape okay i believe that's all of them and let's run this really quick just make sure we don't have any errors cool a whole bunch of warnings but that's okay let's take a look at setting up the blend shape now so we want the blend shape adder to be equal to so we're going to create a variable and combine these things really quick so it's going to be blend name plus dot plus obj name okay so that is the attribute for the on the actual blend shape and then we're going to do ctrl adder and this is going to be equal to instead of blend name here we're going to say control name okay so that gives us the blend shape so if we were to look at here 
on the blend shape and assign that. You can see that we have the blend shape name followed by the object name, which is the attribute name in this case for that specific blend shape. And then the brow, if we look at the same thing here, we have the control name followed by the object name, which is the attribute for the controller. Okay, so first thing, once we have those attributes assigned is that we want to actually create the set driven key. So set driven key will be how we connect the attributes. Set driven key frame. Then we're going to need the attribute itself and be careful with this because if we look at the command documentation for this, it says when you're setting this set driven key, you have to assign the attribute, then the control, the current driver this way, but it actually doesn't work when you set it up that way. You have to set it up like this. So you don't do the attribute equals, but you do CD equals and then CTRLATTR. Okay. So let's test this script at this point, clear the scene, and let's create the face rig. So right now it's not going to be driving anything, but we can see that we have set those set driven keys onto this object. So let's go ahead and finish off the script. mc.set adder. We want to set the attribute of the control first because if we do the blend shape first, then it's going to reset the movement that we just set. We're going to set it to one mc.set adder, then blend shape adder, set that to one. Then we need to set another set driven key that will make the motion for us the connection. And this should be MC. I didn't copy the whole thing. And then we want to set the controller back to zero. And that should reset it to default position. The blend shape will go automatically back to zero because of the set driven keys that we set. So if everything works correctly, let's clear the scene, create the face rig. And now we should be able to take any of these attributes and control the blend shapes. Cool. It looks like it's working. So that is it for this video. We'll continue on in the next lesson with the face rig. See you there. Bye.